Hello everyone, Isa here. I am the rug colorist and I want to show you how we go about dyeing polyester carpet. So this is a bleached polyester carpet that has the famous uh, purple color loss area and we are restoring the color by applying our dye solution which is made up of the everything else dyes which are dyes that are used for dyeing polyester carpets, ac uh, acrylics, uh, fiber, and also cotton fibers. So you can see here the faded area is a, of a purple uh, color and we are adding the dye solution that's needed to restore that area here. So I've actually used different formulas here initially. I've only added the yellow, but that was not uh, it was not dark enough and so I ended up having to add a little bit of our blue as well and so now you can see that I'm touching up with adding a little bit more yellow and that's bringing it all together now the end of the video I stopped there so that the video would not be too long but after that I touched up the spot uh, a couple more times and the picture that you see the before and after that is what the spot looked like so I'm heat setting the dyes because I'm applying the dyes cold and so I'm using the steamer to heat set the dyes and there I'm, I am uh, touching up again adding some uh, light blue to the areas that look a little bit orangish and you can see this spot is coming together beautifully now that's a stronger yellow formula that I'm adding there because this spot looked a little bit too lavender so these dyes can be applied cold and heat set or they can be applied at a very hot temperature as you can see here we're adding now a light greenish area so on this carpet particularly if I only added the yellow to the purple faded color it uh, just made the fibers uh, not dark enough so like I said I had to add a little bit of the blue and that seemed to work really really well and the key to restore this nicely is to really take your time right take your time and see how it's looking and with these dyes if you are applying them cold and you see the color is not correct you can easily extract them simply by dabbing the area with a cotton rag but I like how that's looking and so we're gonna go ahead and uh, steam it again and I use the towel here so that the steam coming out from the different holes in the steamer don't push the dye out of the fiber before heat setting it so this is actually really really important if you're using this type of a steamer and look at that we're going to need to add a little bit more dye as you can see I'm extracting it now so after the end of this video, like I said, I touched it up a couple more times to bring it to what you see in the initial picture in the before and after. Now the client was completely blown away that the carpets could have been restored and she really did not think it was possible. She had purchased a, uh, a, a kit that is for sale for residents, uh, but the kit that she purchased, the dye kit, could not fix her carpet because her carpets are not nylon and uh, she did not know that so she ended up wasting uh, I think a little bit over a hundred dollars on a do-it-yourself die kit and for that reason we ended up giving her a really good discount uh, this job were about four spots similar to this one here and we only charged her uh, four hundred dollars I think it was it was 350 or 400 and she ended up her and her husband uh, were blown away by the results 
and uh, they ended up giving a nice tip at the end of this job. Now they were actually getting ready to move out of the house and had it not been for the everything else dies, they would have had to uh, replace the whole carpet or lose their, their uh, deposit. So needless to say, they were ecstatic that the carpets came out so beautiful. Here I am still touching it up a little more. And at this point, the carpet, looking at it with the naked eye, already looked really good. Uh, but I kept peeking at the stain, at this spot, through the camera, and I could see still a few areas that could use some touching up. So we're almost done here. So if you're interested in this uh, Everything Else Dies, you can actually find them at our website at dieboldacademy.com. We teach about uh, dyeing how to dye polyester carpets on the second part of our dye training. Normally it's on day two, the day, uh, first day we learn color theory and uh, some basics about carpet dyeing and we do uh, learn about nylon uh, carpet dyeing and we do some hands-on examples and then on the second part of the training usually on day two we do some more nylon carpet dyeing training practice and then we learn how to dye polyester carpets and we have our next class coming up at the end of August the date will be posted soon so if you're interested in learning how to dye nylon or polyester carpet you can find me on Facebook my public page is Isa the rug colorist or you can message me or we have several pages uh, the other one is diebold.com um, look up diebold page that's where we offer carpet dyeing services or of course you can find us on Diebold Academy page and I'll be glad to send you information about our next class look at that that is looking beautiful that is looking beautiful and now I am actually pouring water to show you how the dyes are washed fast right after dyeing the carpets now this is not a marketing gimmick uh, it's not any kind of a trick uh, this is a real live job that was done here in Florida it was actually in Orlando Florida thank you for watching